Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So it is the end of April. While well, I'm filming this video on the last day of April, it's going up on the first day of May. I am so excited for May. May is typically just a very beautiful month where I live. I'm so excited to enjoy warm, sunny weather, see flowers. I recently planted some flowers, which was my first time ever doing that. My mother-in-law was in town and she's really good with flowers, so she helped me out and I love them. Every time I look out the window, they are so pretty. So I'm just excited for May in general, but before we get into May, I wanted to share all of the products that I've been loving throughout the month of April. I actually don't have any fails to share with you, which is very rare for me, but a lot of the products that I've been testing out this month are things that I picked up during the Sephora VIB sale, and I feel like I thought through those products very, very thoroughly. On Tuesday, I have a video going up wearing a lot of them and showing you how they actually apply, so stay tuned for that. But in the meantime, I just wanted to share everything that I've been loving. So I have have some products from the Sephora VIB sale. I have some drugstore products, also a few skincare products, just things that I've been reaching for a lot during the month of April, a few new releases, and then of course some older favorites as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I feel like I have some good hidden gems that I haven't heard a lot of people talk about, so I can't wait to share them with you. I hope you guys are having a great weekend. Let me know what you've been loving lately because I would love to hear from you, and let's jump into it. So the first thing I wanna share with you guys is something that I picked up from Ulta Beauty. This is the Persona Cosmetics Super Blush and I got the shade Georgia. I love Persona Cosmetics. Pretty much everything I've tried from the brand became an instant favorite. I love their brow gel. I love the Identity Palette. Their cream bronzer is amazing. More recently, I tried their e-balms, and I think those are so good for everyday wear. So their blushes have been on my list for a little while. Their blush in the shade Bubble recently went viral on TikTok. It's like a really beautiful, bright bubblegum pink. So that's not typically a shade that I wear, although I've been thinking about trying it just because it does look so pretty. So that just had me curious to try out their blushes even more. Anyway, I was trying to decide which shade to grab, and I went with the shade Georgia because this is a shade that I typically wear. So I figured I would try the formula in a shade that I knew I would really enjoy. And this formula is absolutely beautiful. It is so smooth, it's so blendable. And the reason why I like this is because it has a little bit of a glow. It kind of reminds me of the Buxom Wanderlust Primer Infused Blushes. But again, this is just like a really pretty everyday peachy pink color that I think is so fun for spring. I am wearing it on my cheeks today and I just think it looks really beautiful. You can build this up, like when I swatch it, I'll do a little bit of a heavier swatch so you can see what it looks like. But obviously on my cheeks, I went in with more of like a fluffy brush, a fluffy blush brush to create like a diffused look. So I've just been enjoying it. I think it is a beautiful color, a really nice formula. Honestly, the brand is so good. If you haven't tried their products, you will be blown away by the quality. They really are amazing. I think my favorite purchase from the Sephora VIB sale is the Patrick Ta Major Dimension 2 Rose Eyeshadow Palette. So like I said, I do have a video going up on Tuesday where I applied this product and I wore it so you can see what it looks like. I was going to wear it in today's video, but there's another palette that I've really been loving as well that I have on my eyes. This is such a gorgeous palette. It's definitely going to be one of my top palettes of 2022 because the quality is so beautiful and I love the color story. You can get quite a few different looks out of here. You can definitely do something really intense and smoky or you can do something really pretty and rosy or something really soft if you just stick with the first two shadows. The quality of this palette is definitely better than the quality of the first Major Dimension palette and I like that one. I recommended it on a few occasions but Typically, I do say that I feel like the $68 price tag is a little bit high. I don't buy a ton of luxury eyeshadows, so $68 is a pretty steep price tag, but I definitely think the price is justified by the quality when it comes to this one. It's just a very beautiful palette that's enjoyable to use. The shadows apply flawlessly, and every single time I use it, I feel like I get a really nice look. And again, there's a good variety within this palette, a couple of duochromes, some smoky shadows, a few creams. I just love it. It really is one of the most gorgeous palettes that I have in my collection and I'm really happy I picked it up. Another one of my favorite purchases from the Sephora VIB sale is this little brow trio set from Kosas. This is a really good deal in terms of value. So I think it retailed for, I want to say $39, but it was maybe $65 or $66 in value. And on top of that, I was able to get the 20% off. So 
the amount that I paid for it was significantly less than the actual value. And all three of the products are things that I wanted to try. Kosas is very hit and miss for me, but I still am really curious about a lot of their products. Specifically this one, this one is their Airbrow. This is the product that's been on my list for a little while, so that's mainly why I picked it up. But I figured I could always get use out of a brow pencil, and then it also comes with a clear brow gel. But I have to say, everything about this brow gel is so perfect. A lot of the times there's like one small change that I would make to a brow gel, the applicator for this one is perfect. I love that the packaging is clear because you can actually see how much product is in there. The texture of the product is really nice. It's very light, very almost like moussey, but it combs through the brows beautifully, deposits a lot of pigment, and it locks your brows into place, and it combs them upward, and then it just looks very fluffy, very airy. Honestly, I wish that I had tried this sooner. I don't really remember hearing anyone rave about this, but it is a brow product, and I feel like typically new brow products aren't something that people really hype up, but I have to tell you, I am blown away by this one. I absolutely love it. It's definitely become a staple in my routine. I also love the brow pencil. This just applies very beautifully. The colors are perfect for me, but I love the applicator. At first, I wasn't sure, and again, you'll see that in Tuesday's video. I filmed them out of order, but this is a very small, almost like triangular shaped applicator. And now that I've gotten the hang of it, it does apply really easily and I can't get enough of it. So I'm impressed by this trio. It's sold out on Sephora's website, but you can get it on the Kosas website. Also, I was on the Kosas website the other day and I saw that there was... Oh, if you sign up for their text messages, you can get 10% off. So that's just like a nice added discount on top of it if you don't mind signing up for their text. They have a couple of different value sets. I'll put a picture on the screen for you guys so you can see, but they have a set that comes with like their foundation, their concealer, and their powder. So if you've been curious about their complexion products, it's kind of nice you can bundle them all together and get them for a discounted price if you were planning on trying all of those products anyway. So I've kind of been curious lately about the specific retailer websites and their deals. I shop a lot from Sephora and Ulta because they carry a bunch of products and I do like to get points or certain perks with their rewards programs. But sometimes if you go to the individual retailers' websites, they have really good deals. And Kosas is definitely one of those brands, especially because this entire set has been sold out on Sephora's website. So if you've been wanting it, you can find it on the Kosas website. I'll link it below if you guys want to check it out. I've actually been using this product for a few months, but I don't think I've mentioned it in a favorites video. This is the ColourPop Level Up Lengthening Mascara. So ColourPop has a few different mascaras. They have the BFF Mascara. They also have the, I think it's called the Act Natural Mascara. Neither one of those worked really well for me. So I honestly was kind of skeptical about this one. I didn't even think that it would work that well for me, but I decided to try it out. And I'm really glad that I did because I love this formula. So this is supposed to give you a lot of length. Compared to other typical lengthening mascaras, this one also provides a little bit of volume. A lot of lengthening mascaras tend to separate and they give you length, but they don't make your lashes look full, which is why I do avoid them. This is a little bit of a thicker formula. So as you apply it, it does make your lashes look thick and dramatic and long. So I like to use this one on its own, but I mainly like to use it on top of other mascaras that are really good at providing volume because if I just go in with a little bit of this on the ends of my lashes, it really enhances them and makes them look even longer. I also love using this on my bottom lashes. Sometimes for me, I feel like the mascaras that I love to use on my top lashes, I don't love on my bottom lashes. I need a very specific brush that grabs onto every single one of my bottom lashes and this one does a really great job and it makes them look so much longer than pretty much any other mascara I've used on my bottom lashes. So I've been extremely impressed by this one. I think it is such a nice option. It also comes in a burgundy shade, which is really beautiful. It's very subtle, but I feel like it is a nice option if you want to add a subtle pop of color to your lashes. If you have light lashes, this might be a little bit more dramatic, but on dark lashes, it just adds like a subtle, really beautiful berry tone. A little bit of a newer favorite, ColourPop just launched a new collection. Now, I did get this a little bit early in the mail as PR, so I've had some time to test it out. It just launched a couple of days ago, but I have been using it for a little bit longer than that. So this is their Apricot Me Not Collection. I'm wearing the eyeshadow palette and the Super Shock Trio on my eyes today, and I like this. I think that it is a really fun collection for spring and summer. Now, if you do have a lot of warm-toned eyeshadows in your collection, 
This might not necessarily be a must have for you, but the reason why I like this eyeshadow palette compared to some of their other palettes is that it's a little bit softer. I have a couple of warm toned palettes that have like peaches and golds and sometimes they can be really intense and vibrant and I just like to have more of a toned down option for everyday wear. So I think that this is a nice option. Now, if you're looking for a super intense, really saturated palette, this probably won't be ideal for you, but I do think it is a really pretty option for every day and there is a deeper brown in the corner which you can use to kind of smoke it out and intensify it if that's something you want to do. But I have to say the Super Shock Trio is probably the standout from the entire line. I think this trio is actually really nice to have with the palette because the palette is a little bit more subtle but the Super Shock shadows are definitely intense. So if you do want more of an intense vibrant look you can just pair these with the palette. I do have two of these on my eyes today. I have the shade of Bestest all over the lid which is like this gorgeous coppery gold. And then I just have a little bit of this shade, which is called Hey Lover, right in the center. This one is like a very bright yellow gold. They also did a lip mask, which is really nice. I've been enjoying that. And then they did these Fresh Kiss lip creams. This formula is nice. If you haven't tried it, it's kind of like a very light, airy, whipped lip mousse. It provides really pretty color that's more of a matte finish, but it doesn't dry down like a liquid lipstick. So it's a little bit more comfortable. And then there are two Super Shock highlighters. I wish these were in like the typical round packaging, but I have to say, I really like these. They did kind of like tie dye Super Shock highlighters. So they're really pretty. I'm wearing this one today. This one is called Addicted to You. And I just applied it with a brush. It went on really nicely, but you can use your finger. You can use a beauty sponge. So overall, it probably is somewhat similar to collections they've done in the past, but I find that it's a little bit more subtle with the exception of the Super Shock Shadow Trios. So I think it is nice for everyday wear, or you can amp it up if that's something you want to do too. Another apricot related product I've really been enjoying is this one from Makeup by Mario. It's the Moisture Glow Plumping Lip Serum in the shade Apricot Glow. I love this so much. I honestly want to buy all of them. I knew that I would like this just based on the description, based on the swatches, but I held off on purchasing it because I knew the Sephora VIB sale was right around the corner and this is going to be an absolute favorite of mine for spring and summer. This formula is very similar to the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lips, which I love. This is basically like a liquefied glossy lipstick. It's so beautiful. I mean, I'm wearing it on the lips today. It's very comfortable, very glossy because it is a plumping the product you get a little bit of like that cooling feel but it's not an uncomfortable tingle at all I think it's like the perfect balance between coral and peach with a little bit of pink and I think I could definitely see myself wearing this one quite a bit during the spring and the summer and I do want to try more at some point they're pretty much all sold out on Sephora's website because these are pretty popular and I can definitely see why I will say or I think I already said, they're very similar to the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lips. So if you already own a bunch of those, I wouldn't say run out and buy this unless there is a specific shade that you want to get your hands on. But it is a really beautiful formula. Definitely comfortable. It's like the best of both worlds. Like a lip balm that's glossy, that feels like a lipstick. It's so good. I can't, I can't say enough good things about it. Two other lip products that I've been loving, especially for everyday wear because they're so easy to apply. The first one is from NYX. It is the This Is Juice Gloss and I have the shade Pomegranate Cloud. So this is beautiful on the lips. I picked this up because I saw Juicy Jazz mention that this is a good alternative to the Fenty Gloss Bomb Heat. The Gloss Bomb Heat Formula is one of my favorites. I think it is so beautiful on the lips, but it is a plumping lip gloss, so it gives you like that typical tingly feel when you apply a plumping gloss. Also, that's from Fenty, so it's a little bit more expensive. This is from NYX. I think it's like an $8 lip gloss. It might not come with as much product, but if you're anything like me and you don't actually use up lip products very often, it might not be a big deal to you to get something with a little bit less product. It looks so natural, so glossy. It's so weird to me because I did purchase this in a purple shade, but I didn't like it. And I feel like the formulas are kind of different. Like this one is a little bit more glossy. It's a little bit thinner and it does have a hint of color. Whereas the purple one was completely clear and that one felt a little bit thicker. So I don't know if the formulas were actually different, but I do have to say, I really like this one. It's not sticky at all. It almost has like a little bit of a balmy texture. So it feels really hydrating on the lips. I think I've worn this pretty much every single day in April. I placed a beauty pie order and picked up a few of their makeup products and then also some skincare. 
and I grabbed their Wonder Gloss Collagen Lip Oil Plus. So they have some that are like colorful shades. They have nudes, they have berries, but I just got the clear one because I figured I would probably use this as like a treatment as I was getting ready. And now I wanna go back and pick up a few more because this formula is so good. First of all, it smells like a vanilla cupcake, which I love. If you don't like that scent, stay away from it because it's pretty prominent. This is such a smooth formula. It doesn't feel like a typical lip oil in the way that it's extra oily. It almost has like this plush cushiony feel to it. I would almost call it like a liquefied lip balm, like more of an actual treatment. I don't typically love clear lip balms for like day-to-day -day wear because I feel like my lips need a little bit of color, but because this one has like very fine shimmer in it, it looks really pretty. And I don't know, when I apply this, my lips look extra smooth. They do look a little bit fuller, which it doesn't have like that typical plumping feel to it. I'm not even sure if this claims to be like a plumping product. It just looks really, really good. Like I said, they do have some nude shades. They have some berry tones. I'm waiting till they restock the nude shades before I place another order. But with a Beauty Pie membership, this is like $8. It is so good. I know not everyone is on board with Beauty Pie because it is a membership-based website. So you pay a membership fee and then you get access to their discounted prices. Honestly, for me, it's been completely worth it. I've done some sponsored videos with them in the past. This is not sponsored. I actually pay for my own membership and I place my own orders. Like I buy products off the website because I've been so impressed by the quality. The membership fee is like $50 and you can use a coupon code to get it for even less, which I actually think is a steal because once you try the products, you will honestly see that they are worth significantly more than they actually charge for them. Their Super Healthy Skin Deluxe Body Moisture Cream is so good. I think this is under $20. I was using one from Josie Moran that I got in a Fat Fit Fun box. This is so much better. It's very luxurious, so comfortable on the skin. I've never tried something that's provided such long lasting moisture throughout the day. Like I will apply this in the morning and at night when I go to bed, my skin feels like I just applied it. It is so good. So there are a few other skincare products I wanted to mention. I actually got the Tula Protect and Glow Daily Sunscreen Gel in my Fat Fit Fun box again. And it just reminded me how much I love it. I had been testing out a couple of other formulas but before I got this in my Fafit Fun Box I had gone back to using this pretty consistently because it just feels so good on the skin and I've said this a few times but I think the key to incorporating a daily sunscreen is just finding a formula that you like to apply. It can be hard to find a formula that you love that looks good on its own and under makeup and just something that works well for your skin type and this is incredibly glowy so Typically, I wouldn't think this would be something that I would end up reaching for every single day, but I really do. It's so beautiful. It's so smooth on the skin. It gives your skin the most gorgeous, luminous glow. And makeup applies really nicely on top of this product. I'll wear it on its own, but also when I go in with like my foundation, it just feels like I've primed my skin with a really beautiful, smoothing primer. And of course, it protects your skin. So that's just something I want to mention. If you are looking for a daily sunscreen, I cannot say enough good things about this. I think I've purchased it like four or five times at this point because it really is such a good formula and when I got it in my Fafu Fun box it just reminded me how much I love it so I wanted to share this but recently I tried a new moisturizer from Tula this is their Bright Start Vitamin C Antioxidant Brightening Moisturizer this is such a good formula for everyday wear they have a couple of moisturizers that I've tried I do like their I think it's called like their 24-7 moisturizer that you can use in the day or at night. I think if you have dry skin, that one's a little bit more ideal, but this is a very light, smooth formula that is so good if you have oily skin or if you're just looking to incorporate a really nice daily moisturizer that's not too heavy. It sinks in quickly. It makes my skin look really smooth, really glowy, very bright, and I've been really impressed by the texture of this, but Tula has an active coupon code right now because I wanted to repurchase another one of my go-to products. If you use the code GETMYGLOW15, you can get 15% off your order. But I also wanted to mention when I looked up this moisturizer, I saw that they actually have a set on their website where you can get this moisturizer and their vitamin C brightening drops. And if you use that 15% off coupon code, you can get it for even less. You can get a really good deal. This is the Inkyless Salicylic Acid Cleanser. I just like this formula. I've been using it a lot lately. I think I tried it last spring for the first time 
And ever since then, it's been one of my favorites. This bottle lasts such a long time because you don't need a lot of this cleanser. I just put a little bit in my hand, add some water, and it really lathers up nicely. When I use this regularly, I feel like my skin is more balanced and a little bit less oily. And I honestly do feel like it kind of cuts down on breakouts as much as a cleanser can. But I would say if you have oily or acne prone skin like me, you'll really like this cleanser. I'm almost done with it, which is why I thought of it because I should have purchased it during the Sephora VIB sale. I completely forgot, but I think it's only $11, so it's not a bad price point. It really is such a nice option for oily, acne-prone skin. Okay, guys, that is everything that I wanted to share with you. Thank you so much for watching. I'm actually heading out with my family in just a little while. There's a little local cherry blossom festival we're going to go to. There are like kids rides and food trucks, and it's just outside by the water, so I think it will be really fun. So I hope you guys get to do something fun this weekend as well. I will be back on Tuesday with a new video, actually using a lot of these products and then products from my Sephora VIB sale haul. So stay tuned for that. I'll see you guys then. Bye.